right, my friends, we're for a we're in for a tremendous adventure today. I want to show you Yisrael, as I said, see it yourself, how I go about preparing for starting seas, gardens, and different times of the season so there will be a supply of food. You notice that time in the shade here, because I will be here all day. We have about three thousand plants or 3,500 that you make sure they're seeded today and we can get them out about uh, somewhere between the time of August 15th and 22nd. Tremendous time. That's very important. But I want to show you something. I have what we call, these are what they call hydroponic trays. And I use these because in each one of these you can get from 80 ceilings to 200. These are the ones that have 200, at least 200 uh, uh, spaces where you can plant. And it's important to understand that. Let me say to us that I know that there are those that will sell you anything and, and if you're not conscious of what to do, you, 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 you'll buy it. I want to say that I, I have, as far as starting soil, I have a mixture here. I will show you what the mixture here. This is what we call mushroom compost. I can buy it locally here. It's just compost of everything. And it's, it's an excellent thing to have a certain compost or a certain kind because of the microbiotics. That's what it takes. It creates the fungus for the plant for it to grow. But let me show you what I've done though. Let me show you my little secret. I have taken a mixture of what we call this is this is worm casting here. I use that. I use some of this. And you can buy some of this locally at your Lowe's. And then they have what they call an organic uh, soil here, a uh, uh, micro uh, miracle grow. So I mix the components of all three of these together. Give me a very fertile soil. Uh, and because this black, if you see this, this casting is nice, but by itself, it's not, it, it will work. But you need the multiples, all right? And you that are just growing in, in those small platters and things, you go get your bag of three different types. You can get the mushroom compost at a Home Depot organic. You can get uh, certain item and items there that are organic. And I do go there and purchase things for starting plants for doing that. And so what I have today, if you will notice here, I'm going to be here in this warm weather. I got these ready to go. I did this yesterday evening. So I have, I have what, two? I have 2,000 uh, cells here that I can plant in. These I will use for cabbages and things like that or something I'm experimenting with. And I have 720 here. 720 here, 2,000 here. So we'll round it off around 3,000 plus plants will do. I have a system that I've organized and let me show you this. You see this little white crystal here in each one of the cells? You can see that little white crystal there? Well, that is this magnesium sulfate. It is simply Epsom salt. Whether you spray it on, and I like to sprinkle it on before I plant, and as the water system kicks in, it, it, will, it, it will dissolve on its own, and it will do, it, it does wonders for plants. So use, get your bag of Epsom salt. This will last you a family household for years, using this in your garden. We have to use it. We, you see, we have 3,000 plants. You notice I got my trees and numbers because I will keep a log. Let me show you. I have a log that I will log each one of my trees. As you can see that this was this year, different things we planted from the company we get them from, Vermont beans, Vermont's beans from Johnny Seeds. But all of these seeds that I will plant today they're from Twilly. And so I will, I will organize and make sure I know what I have, give me how many days, what days I planted. And that's what I will do here. All of this is, 
This is my log here. I can see everything and I will know what I have and what I am planting. All right, I don't even know if I have any more log pages. I have one. That will be enough for me. All right. And I will log everything and then I can go back during the year when it's cold and I will know what plants did well and then that plant I will kind of mark off for the next year growing. So everything is not going to come out the way you want it to. That's why it's called gardening. You're looking for the treasures. And so what I want to begin here today, I want to begin planting. I want to just take you through this. And then at the end of this, I, I, will, uh, I will show you what we've concluded with today. Uh, and then on the next episode, Yas will, we have two greenhouses here. You look at these greenhouses. This is what we call a solar greenhouse. It's different than a conventional greenhouse. A solar greenhouse take advantage of, those, of, the, uh, of the sun during the winter months. And everything we got that insulated on the back, I built that many years ago. And this is a, convenient, uh, a conventional greenhouse whereby this year we will start the tomatoes and cukes and all of that. And I'll go through that in, in the next episode to show you what kind of planters that are very nice and they will work for you. They cost a little, but if you're just growing things like tomatoes and cukes and small things, they work excellent for you. They're self-watering and all of that, and we'll go through that. But I want to show you this today, how I do things. Let me show you, all right? I'm going to begin here. I have a numbering system of things. I have markers. Also, one more thing. I have never tried this I found this, they use this in hydroponic, and these are little trays that, uh, little uh, couplings that you put the seed in. You can get this, I've never tried this. I bought, it cost $12 from uh, eBay. You drop the seed in there, you stick it in one of these cells like this, and simply water. I want to try this, I will use this for the greenhouse plants, that I plant, and also you can buy these. Uh, these are what they call hydroponic growing pads. You don't have to do anything but just drop the seed in there. So you can position the seeds, but you must understand you must always have a watering system. And I'll show you ours once I do one tray, all right? You have to learn how to feed yourself, people. And you that are listening and you that were listening, don't write me and tell me what I need to do because you've never done anything like this. You've never grown one seed and you are the ones that always have this informative information that doesn't mount up to a damn thing. So don't write me. If you've got that kind of skill set, come here, come visit me. I'll give you a place to stay, a very comfortable place, air conditioned and all, uh, and feed you well and less work. And I'll see what you have, all right? So don't post your silly juvenile comments because you're immature, that's why you do it, and try to instruct us. We're not going to hear it, all right? What I'm going to do on the first one, I'm going to move these just to give you an example of what I will do. I'm going to, I have, you see that there are numbers on the 69 and 70. I'll take one of those numbers off because I'm going to use that tray for just one plant. I'm going to use like that. Always keep my utility. I've had this, uh, this thing, this Leatherman, I've had to return them three or four times. I've had this for at least 12 years, and I use it. So I'll tell you what, I like the number 70. I'm going to take that number off. I'll use it, put that here. And so what I will do, today's date is uh, the bells are ringing. Let me show you my system. Now, you can come up with your own. I will just show you what I do, all right? I have a log here, and I will set this up. This is my fall planting, and I'll write that in here, fall planting. Planting. This is what I do, all right? 
And today's date is what? 7-9? And so the date will be 7-9. I will put 7-9. You see that? This is just my method. You whatever you want, all right? You don't even have to do this. I have so many seeds. And then this will give me idea as to when they will, when they will, uh, when they will begin to bear fruit. So I have everything from broccoli, from different kinds, the Maximo, the Castle Dome, and these are, I know how it grows here, and these kinds of broccolis, uh, they do well here. What I want to do first, uh, that's 100, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what we call, this is the, a blue cabbage, it is called the Fast Advantage. It comes to fruition in 75 days. So we don't want to do everything that will come to fruition during the same period of time. So we have some that will come to fruition. 50 days cabbages. We have some that we have eaten. We have the solid blue, 78 days. We have the charmette, which is about 54 days. It's 52 to 62 days. So you see the variations of dates of cabbages and when they will come in. I've never grown this blue here, nor this one, but my information on them, they do real well, all right? So what I'm going to do, all this is twilly planting. All these seeds will be, be twilly. Twilly is a tremendous place to order seeds. This is twilly. And also, of course, I don't promote any of these places, but I know during the experience of 25 plus years, Johnny Seeds. Uh, you want purely heirloom. Uh, Baker Seeds is one. Uh, Territorial Seeds in California. Baker Seeds in Missouri. You got Vermont beans there in the, uh, up in the main area. Johnny Seeds is there. And uh, I have had great experience with those seeds coming. You're going to get some that fell. You're going to have failure. I don't care where you get them from. But I've had a consistency with those different places, uh, 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 ordering seeds. I just don't order from one place. And I will say to you, let nobody, people will tell you, you look at catalogs, they will say organic seeds that are hybrid. And so when you go in a store, this is what the silly ones will write me and say. Well, are they hybrids? You don't even know what a hybrid seed is. You couldn't tell me the difference between a hybrid or, 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 or an heirloom. You could not. I know you could not. Now you'll go and look on, uh, you Google that, you'll find out and you think you're smart. I will say to you that are sincere in growing some kind of food supply, do a blend of both. I do a blend of both. I do hybrids, I do heirlooms. Heirlooms tend to have a flavor that is suspect different. Because you must understand, my friends, all seeds, whether they're hybrids or heirloom, they have been hibernized. What are you saying? Because they have been cross-pollinated with, they're going to cross-pollinate. Silly people don't know that. Those that never have put a seed in the ground. Now, I, I'm not a novice. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I've been growing food for a long time. So I have some knowledge, wisdom of it because uh, I'm a practitioner of this. I'm not just talking. So you have to do things and you, whoever, whatever state you live in, don't ask me what grows best. Search your state. They all have an agriculture school or, a, or, or, or they have a layouts that would tell you certain seeds do well in your vicinity, what kind, what types, and all. Everything from berries. The blueberries that will grow here will not do as well in upstate New York. Will not do as well in California. It's different. So you have to be a student to know what you're doing. And you have to be taught and shut your mouth and learn to listen. And you'll find out the type of seeds or veggies, whatever you want, that will accommodate you best. That doesn't mean it's going to work every time. You've got to make sure you test soil and all of that. Before I plant this, the soil will be tested. As my grandmother would say, testes will be run on the soil so we'll know what is needed. You can't just put a seed in the ground and expect it to grow without the nourishment the nutrition. And so when I take you into the greenhouse, I will show you the different kind of organic substance we use. 
Don't tell me all you need is banana peels. You don't even know what you're talking about. You cannot grow, put out three, four, five thousand seeds and think you got enough banana peels to help you. You need to have organic fertilizer, and that's all we knew. We make some, we use turkey litter and different things, but there are plants that must be fed every seven to ten days, just like you. And the more you feed them, you can, be, you can make your own concoction of fertilizer. I do that. I take different types of organic fertilizer. I add a little more nitrogen here, a little more phosphorus, a little more phosphate. You need those three elements. And then there are things like boron that have all the elements that make your seedling sweeter and taste better, all right? You don't learn this in six months or a year. It's a learning curve that never begins to ebb down. It's always in the incline, all right? You're always learning. So let me show you what I do here, and I'll show you where I would take this and show you. You must have a system of watering that is consistent. You can't overwater. You can't kill the plants because you will. All right, let me show you what I do. Here I go. So I'm going to go with this fast vantage cabbage. I'll record this fast vantage. Fast vantage cabbage. You see that? And then I have a number here. I'm going to use number 70 for this one. All of these are twilly seeds, all right? And so what I will put here is the days that it takes for this to germinate. It takes 50 days, or in essence, not germinate. Most seeds germinate between 8 to 12 days, most. Now, there are things like peppers, and if you're trying to grow asparagus and things from seed, it takes a long time. Pepper takes anywhere almost a month to germinate. You don't get them overnight. But the average seeds germinates between 8 to 14 days. And there are those that it takes longer. So don't get discouraged. Well, you don't see certain things come up. And don't say to me, well, you're not supposed to plant things in the same garden. That's what an ignorant person will say. I'll tell you what, if you plant in that garden there and you plant in that one, the bees that germinate that or the strawberry is going to that, 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 uh, pollinate that garden is going to pollinate that and that garden and that garden over there. So you're silly. You could not even tell me, and those that will be very critical, you can't even tell me the certain families of seeds. Now, what if I put collards and broccoli and cauliflowers? Can I put them all together? You don't even know because you don't even know the family that that seed generates from. All right, let me go here, all right? It's a little windy, but I'll get settled down once the camera is off. I just want to show you my, how I do things. So that's number 70. It takes 60 days. And everything is planted here on 7-9, all right? I'll begin the seed planting process. And what I will do, I'll sit down when I get busy, all right? I'm not going to stand up. I'll take this. I'll take this. Move all this out of my way. And then what I will do... I will put a hole in each one of the cells. See, I take the big fingers and put holes in the cell. This is my way, all right? This is how I do it. You can do what's most convenient from you. And there's one thing about planting seeds. Let me tell you this, all right? When I began to plant, you don't want to plant the seed no more of depth in the soil than how large the seed is. Cabbage seeds, those of the Barascus family, and turnip seeds, broccoli seeds, are very small, all right? They're small seeds. So you don't want to go all the way in, look, like this. Let me show you. And put the seed all the way down there. It's not going to do well, all right? You want to just put a little slight indentation if you're going to start your plants or if you go and purchase them uh, from places, from nurseries, and things like that, that's all right. So I got this seed, I'm gonna sit down. I'm getting old man, I'm gonna be here for hours planting. 
And once I get going, I can go. I can do all this by myself by this evening. I have, I have plenty of 5,000 in a day, so I know I can. So this is what I will do. I will open this package, and I have a feel for the seeds over the many years, and then I will put the seeds in my hand like that. That's the color of them. Now these are treated. Now what, when they say treated plants, they are treated with a clay that inhibits certain uh, uh, radical microbiotics to attack them, all right? So I will get seeds that are treated. It's no chemical or nothing like that, but it's a clay on this, all right? And so what I will do, I will drop, see, I can drop one seed, I don't know what it feels like. All right, one, two, that's all right, one, two, because the germination of these seeds are pretty well. And I'll drop two and some because in case one doesn't germinate well, then, you know, then I have a seed there. I've tried all kind of seed planters, but the best thing is these fat fingers of mine. They work every time for me. It doesn't take me that long. A tray like this, I can do it in about two minutes, less than that. And what I will do as the plants grow, I will come back and the best looking one, I will keep and one I will cut out or just simply pull out. You people of Yisrael, you are some very lazy people. That's not a stereotype. It's not a stereo casting of you. And that doesn't include all, but the generality of the people, we don't do, we don't want to do anything, but you will criticize those that are trying. You will criticize those that will try to assist and help us and show us things. Well, I came here 23 years ago. I wasn't arrogant. These old rednecks, I use that term, country boys, man talking like me, they weren't used to that. So I walked in to one of the uh, nurses, nurseries here, and I asked the old boys, I said, uh, Hi, howdy. I wanted to talk like them. They chewing not tobacco, but backer. They never responded to me like, who is this clown? That's what they said. Well, I wasn't offended because I could tell the way they were dressed with the backer juice stained on their lips. They were farmers and they knew. They knew the terrain, the soil. You will get arrogant. You, uh, you will say, look at that Edomite. No, you buy everything from the Edomite. Isn't that amazing? You call the Edomite. But, uh, you see, I can put me a little bit of spit on my finger and then I can pull the seed out if it's too many. Oh, he put a little spit on his feet. Oh, don't be silly. You go to these nasty restaurants where faggots cook for you, dogs. I don't eat at restaurants. The last time I ate at a restaurant, I was travel traveling from Tennessee, and I stopped at a Wendy's, and I said to the lady, I want a baked potato. Don't put nothing on it for me. Just give me the baked potato, and I'll do something like that. But as far as about this sandwiches, I, I don't do that. And I'm a fat boy too, that's all right. So it doesn't take long, once I get started, the camera is off, I'm going to roll. I will get all this done today. So listen, this costs, these seeds right here from Tully, these seeds from Tully, these seeds right here, these, these advantage seeds, cabbages, they cost me for 200 seeds. Uh, I think I paid uh, like $2.35. All right, and this is what I have left. Now, when I finish today or tomorrow, I will go in here, I know what these are, <clears throat> and I will just do a mixture of trays, just putting seeds in those. And I will plant that in a row and whatever comes up, it comes up. Now I have all these cells planted. Now what do you do from there? Well, what I do, let me show you. I'll take a bag of this fertilizer, this starter. You don't need much. Now what I said, you don't want to plant nothing and I'll just put a little bit on there. That's not how I do it. I'll show you how I do it. 
All right. I will put it on here like this. And I will spread it out. All right. I will spread this out just enough to cover the seed. That's all I want to do. Just enough to cover the seed. I'll be here all day. The thing of it is, I enjoy what I do. I'm not, this is not a hard thing for me. I enjoy this. I enjoy the pleasantry of the table. And everyone enjoying the sumptuous food. You come, you visit. You enjoy things that are grown here. And I've said this year's tabernacle, everything, we have a beautiful big 700 pound bull out there. You're gonna butcher him, I got chickens that I've butchered, I'm gonna butcher more, I got guineas that I'm going to do, I'm going to cook at least one meal. And, and I want the people to enjoy fresh vegetables, everything from broccoli to corn and all of that. And we'll come out of our garden. There are not too many places that can say they do that. There are not that many places where people, that we have a respect for each other and love for each other, where this, uh, Ach, that's behind the camera, he works, he works hard, and whereby I can do the same by making sure that we have food and making sure there's plenty of snuffs for us, that there's enough for everyone to eat. And listen, nothing goes the waste here. If someone doesn't finish that, put it in, throw that away. We don't throw it away. It goes in the slop bucket and our chickens eat it. So there is not one thing. Everything is recycled. We don't waste any food. It's all right if the chickens get it because we're going to eat them, all right? Now you see that, that's done. I got that trade, didn't take me no time. I'll do that half of the time, the reason it took me more time, because I'm with you. Now let me show you what I'll do with this. I'll do so many trays, I just want to show you. And I'll transport this tray over here, all right? Come on, follow me. I will say that you need a system to water your plants. You're doing one or two trays, you can do that yourself. Now look at this right here. See how that's misting? Look at that, see all that mist, that it go off. This was shut off. One, two, it comes on every two minutes for 15 seconds. So I don't have to worry about coming out here to see what's with the, with the trays or anything. And so I'll be done with it. I'll start here. This will water all the trays we need, all right? And this will do it from 8 a.m. in the morning to 8 p.m. at night. It is vital, listen to me, it is vital to put water on the plants. It's not vital to overwater because overwatering will deplete the oxygen and it will kill the plant quicker than anything. You just can't, we don't want to wet it. We want that to dry in the process of the two minutes. And then the misting will keep it moist. You want to keep plants moist. You don't want to keep them wet. And so, let me talk for a minute, you'll see. We've been here and that'll come back on. This will come back on and that will water that, moist that, uh, moisturize that gradually, gradually. I don't trust myself to do this. I will do a sorry job, but this right here, this will do the job. Things like this cost, but it's worth every penny. It's worth every dime to buy that and to make sure you have this kind of setup here. We're not planting one or two trays of things. We'll plant, I've seen times you see this table here, and that whole table, all of that was full of plants that we planted. And this should come on here. I'll wait, let you see that, and then I want to get busy. And then at the end of the day, our friend will come back and we'll record and show you what we have here. See that? All right? See how that does? It's gonna water everything. It's gonna do that for me all day long. We want that mist, like when you go, go in the grocery store, they don't water the cabbages, they just mist it or the lettuce. This will work all day long. So you're gonna get that, don't worry about it. It'll just it'll get that moist. It won't just shock the seed by just overwatering it, all right? And that's what we tend to do. 
We tend to overwater. You can't overwater water things in the garden or anything like that. You must allow it to reach to a certain depth of the roots so that it will draw from the subsurface uh, uh, of, of, of water, all right? So I'll leave that alone. I'll bring every tree over here, set it down, and I'm done, all right? Listen, I'll be back this evening. We'll get back with you and show you what I've got done today, and you will be surprised. It's 1230 Eastern Standard Time. I'll get here and get it done, all right? We'll talk to you. Hebrew Israelites, feed yourself. I'm going to get busy. I'll call you when I need you, my friend, all right? Shabbat shalom. All right, time to work now. All right, my friends, we're coming to the climax of the day, you see. I got my head garb on to keep the flies from the cows and the flies from this compost so they will irritate you. Listen, this is my last tree here. I think we'll have over 3,000 seeds. I have put out since I began. I think I've been working here probably in the total of five hours, a little under five, but it will be five hours once I get everything cleaned up and everything. But we have to be precise in what we do, and you gotta have a love to do this. You just can't do it because you're doing something. You have to love to do this. And I learned at a young age because I had to cultivate my mother's garden with a mallet, that red clay in North Carolina, I was next to the youngest, but my older brothers, my older siblings were not about to do that. My mother knew that she could tell me to do it and I would do it. And so I took a fun of flowers and things like that. So I learned that from my mother. This is the last tree right here. These are what we call Bernie broccoli. Now I want to show you something. You gotta be precise, one seed per hole. I want him to put the camera on this and show you precisely, it will be one seed. So I do all kinds, and I can see the seeds because they're coated with this clay substance and that's green to treat them to that, that, that those uh, microbiotics or the attack of certain kinds of things will not, uh, will not uh, do anything to the root of the plant. So now watch this, I, I know I have 200 seeds here. Oh, see how long it takes me to do this. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten, that's ten, all right? Now watch this. You got to put ten, two per, one per. Now I want you to make sure there's only one. And you can't say it's nothing but one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Watch the mechanics of this. One per now. One per, one per. It doesn't take me long to do this at all. I can do a tray in 10 minutes, 200 seeds. You don't want to oversee them. You want one per. One, 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 one. Now I know that you will, there are you that will scrutinize me and say, well, now make sure the camera catch all the mechanics of this. One, two per, I mean one per. Only one per. So you will say, well, my seeing more than that. Well, that's your eyes. One per, one per, one per. Do all kinds of systems, make it fun as I go. This is important though, it's, I enjoy doing this. How many seeds you see, one per or two? One, one. One, one. 
My fingertips know the feel of the seeds after all these years. I know exactly how they feel. I know exactly how they're not dropping there. Believe me. Big as these hands, I have the sensitivity to my seeds. Need to finish this because I need to build a small barn on tomorrow. Some of the small barn I'm going to build, I'll finish it tomorrow or by Wednesday, no later than Thursday. I have so many other things to do. As we prepare for tabernacle. You see that? Look at that. One pearl, one pearl. See, there are four right there. And the tool there. I can take out as many as I want. What will I do? All right. Some that may not look as though there's nothing in there, but there, there, see? It looks like that. Should I put that camera on that to make sure they can? Oh, can you get it close? I want them to make sure it's one per. Well, I know you see some that's two per, don't you? Well, I intended to do that. Because you're going to always have some that, that die or not going to. You're not going to get 100%. Because the germination rate, they would tell you on most packages, 90% germination, 98%. So you need to double up on certain types of seeds, especially this this time of the year. These broccoli seeds, they tend to, uh, see it's in there. I may not, you don't see it, but see it's there. So you want to double up on them. You know, about every 10 seeds you put two, about every eight seeds you put two. And this is what I do the last. I'll put this in here. Just put a little dirt on here, not much. You have to be gentle when you do this. And I will put this over these seeds. See that? I'm not worrying about one not standing in this position because I know that there are going to be more than one. And so what I'll do, I, you know, if there's a missing hole, I'll take one up and simply put it in that hole. So you want to do that, put more than one seed in a hole. Let me show you the last part. I'll take these. That's 400 broccoli plants right here. 400. You may say that's a lot of broccoli, but not for a group like this. We love broccoli here. I love to grow it and I love to eat it. I love collard greens. I had collard greens in the okra. Had some rice and gravy. King's meal. I'll put a little moist on this. See, look what we have over here. See what I've done today? So you know I haven't been doing nothing. It worked. All right. Gotta come on for me every 15 seconds. Every 15 seconds, every, every two minutes. The reason we'll stop this around 8 at night, you give the plants a chance to dry out during the night. Not to become dry, so microbiotics want to, uh, some foreign things will stand moist like that overnight. It will do great damage. You really don't want to water late in the evening. We'll do it first thing in the morning or around 4 or 5. That's the best time. See, and everything is numbered. Everything is recorded, so I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna put some, some uh, Carmen pepper, pepper here, some Cajun bales. I have enough time to get all that done before the winter sets in. 
then I put some some black seed Simpson lettuce and also some butter crunch. And that's it. That's it for today. I am war to the fan, all right? So if you're doing any kind of gardening, learn to enjoy that. Raised beds are a wonderful thing to have. These are raised beds. We got them covered with, with, with straw to inhibit the weeds, but it'll create a mass of earthworms and things like that. They'll just come. You don't have to put them there. Simply that process will create that. The rain comes, boom. You got earthworms. You want to go fishing, go in there and get some earthworms. So right here we have, what I finished out, we have around 3,100. That's one. We have around 3,200 plants. See how that comes on and miss that real nice? That's vitally important. Keep it moist. You don't want to keep it wet. You want to keep it moist. And then, as I said, uh, I will show you on the next video as I get the greenhouse ready to go uh, with the winter tomatoes and, and some eggplants and peppers and things like that. I got to straighten the greenhouse up and you have to get in here early in the morning, around four in the morning. You'll leave here at five and you work because I would say it's probably in the greenhouse at least. Well, today it's not bad. I say 110. Let me see. Ah, see? It's 118, which is not too bad. That's the temperature. The humidity is low in here, but it's 118 degrees. It's a mess in here. You can see the all kinds, of, all these are like organic fertilizers and things like that. We got places to stir seeds under our lights. And I grow tomatoes and cucumbers in here during the winter. That's what we'll have, all right? Well, we're gonna close for today, so join us for the next video. It will bless you much, and it will enrich your knowledge in the way that Yah intends for his people to live, all right? Shalom to you all, shalom. Ooh.